Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And I am standing in front of what might be the greatest park entrance I have ever seen in my entire life. And let me tell you, I'm gonna show you in this video what it looks like, but it will not do this justice. I'm just gonna say it right now. You ready to see it? What the actual hell? Like there is stained glass inside of there that you'll see in a second. It says Efteling up top. We're at Efteling, by the way. This is quite possibly the greatest park entrance I have ever laid eyes on. This is unfreaking believable. It's so huge. Uh, we're not even in the park yet, and I'm already, I'm already speechless. It already has taken my breath away, and we're not even in the park yet. Is that not insane? That's wild. Look at that. Oh, this thing's just... <laughs> you can't understand the size of this. That's got to be over, almost 100 feet tall. Grandios. Jeez. <laughs> like, this is... What an entrance to a park. What a freaking entrance. Disneyland can never. I mean, seriously, that is crazy. We're going to go inside here in a second, but holy crap, I am just shook by how amazing that is. So we are expecting some weather to come in later today, so we're hoping to get all these rides knocked out before that. Oh, oh my gosh. This is under the oh front God. entrance. Look at the stained glass. Oh my goodness. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm actually speechless. This is uh, this is literally just the entrance. Like the gates to get in are right there. We're going in, but wow. Dear guest, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? What is this? This, this is, is crazy. Wow. Unbelievable. Insane. I'm blown away. I didn't know what to expect from this park. I really haven't seen anything from it other than like some of the coasters. This is remarkable. I mean, I feel like I'm in a city. I don't even feel like I'm in a music park yet until I see the coasters. This is crazy. I mean, that look at that building. That's like above Disney level, to be honest. At least Disney in the United States. Justin, what do you think? Yeah, that... <clears throat> When I was on my European mega trip two years ago, that entrance house was the only thing I saw this so far. Looks very reminiscent of like something you see at a Disney park. Yeah. Very, the presentation couldn't be better. Yeah, I was gonna say, this almost looks like pictures I've seen at Tokyo Disney Sea level. Like, <laughs> I can imagine the life. I know it's a bold incredible. claim right off the bat, especially from not me not being there Tokyo before. Tokyo Disney Sea, now that's. <laughs> yeah, that's something else, but this is. Maybe the most beautiful park entrance I've ever seen. What is this place? What is this place? <laughs> Rapids right here looks really good. It goes under this bridge that we're on. Oh, I definitely get soaked on this. There's so many in one spot. They're just all crowded together. Look at that. By the way, we're on our way over to Barron. Just right up there. You'll see it up close here in a second. We literally found a point here where you can see all the coasters. Well, almost all the coasters. You can see Baron, the two racing Yoris and the Drock up there. That tower over there is their water coaster that I can't pronounce. And then way back there is Python. There goes Yoris. 
We haven't even really done anything yet. We just walked around and I'm just blown away. Blown away, one of my favorite parks ever. We haven't even done anything yet. All right, so we made our way over to the first coaster of the day. Baron, 1898. I've already seen plenty of footage of this online. The theming is immaculate. But look at this thing. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. You can see right down the drop here. <laughs> Guys, we had to put our stuff in the locker and I got 69. Let's go. That was actually a lot of fun. A lot of fun, yeah. Holy crap, that was good. I really like that. The theming was amazing. Oh yeah. Such a good ride. So we just rode Baron here. Incredible theming on the ride, really cool story. And seriously, my favorite part was the steam on the drop. And the steam on you right now. Yeah, steam on me right now. That's why I came and stood in it. It was awesome. I mean, that was a really good, good BM dive. A lot of fun. The steam felt incredible. In this hot air today, the steam felt really good. It was like cool. It almost felt like we got wet on the ride. We did. strikes again. But yeah, what a cool ride. That was absolutely fantastic. Um, I think we're going to go try Python. What we want to do is get the coasters knocked out. Uh, pretty much as quickly as possible just because there's weather coming later today and uh, in case that shuts things down We don't want to miss anything All right, we're on Python. It's gonna be a forward-facing POV with our reactions because of the vest but uh This looks really smooth they retracted a few years ago It feels really smooth And now it's feeling really slow. And now it's time for the world's fastest lift hill. All right, now we're at the top. Time for the actual POV to start. We gotta have some content for the Q lift enjoyers, though. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> so awesome! Woohoo! Okay. Yo! Go. Whoa. 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 So many positives. That's so smooth. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is so smooth. Wow. What a really smooth oh, ride. For that. Except for the brakes, yeah. What a really, really smooth ride. That was incredible. That was awesome, for sure. All right, this was easily the smoothest old gen Vacoma I have ever ridden. I mean, that was fantastic. I'm the impressed. retract that they did here, this goofy looking track, <laughs> it looks, it looks a lot track. different. Yeah, goofy ah track. It looks a lot different than the, uh, the old Arrow and Vacoma track. <laughs> 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 uh, I drank water, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, it looks a lot different. It is way smoother. I mean, there, there was positives on that. Very, very fun. Not a jolt on the ride. 
That was fantastic. Incredible. Absolutely fantastic. I was thinking about a long time ago making this my 500 coaster, but I am like almost a 600 now. So this actually became a 576. But <laughs> yeah, anyway, what a great ride. I don't know what I was expecting from it, but that was better than what I was expecting from it. We're gonna do the single rider on this because it's five minutes versus 25. So if there's some rando in my POV, that's why. Let's try to get both sides. Listen, this isn't five. This is like walk on. We just rode both sides of Fjords and Didroc, uh, water and ver, which I can only assume is fire. Um, I didn't look it up. We actually managed to win on both sides, so that's awesome. We rode them really quickly, to be honest, and uh, really good for GCIs. I mean, not, not top tier. There's definitely better GCIs and better GCIs in Europe, for sure. Um, but uh, they were very fun. Absolutely killed Lightning Racer, which is the other dueling GCI I've ridden. So it's a pretty good pretty good coaster for me. Uh, I really enjoyed it. The Titan track helped a lot. Now we're gonna try to ride the Legion Hollander Flying Dutchman, Flying Dutchman, which I can't pronounce the actual name, but we're gonna try it. Let's go. We're on Legion Hollander, however you say it. It's uh, Flying Dutchman in English. Justin went on a ride before us because we did single riders. So my camera died. I'm gonna vlog a little bit with my phone here today. What a freaking awesome theme is on that Oh ride. yeah, I love the theming on that. Definitely. It's so good. It reminds me of like Pirates of the Caribbean kind of thing. Oh, the station. The station is incredibly well themed. All the ride all the way up to the coaster section. So well themed. And then the water ride at the end is really fun. I, I That's gotta be my favorite theme in the park so far. At, at least on coasters for sure. Yeah. Oh man, that was great. It's up there. Very good. I don't remember if I mentioned this or not at the beginning of the video, but we're gonna be fighting some storms here today. They have not rolled in yet, but it's starting to get a little cloudy. Uh, we've got three more credits to get and two more like coasters, because one of them's like a dueling family ride, uh, which is Max and Moritz M or M&Ms, which we're going to ride right now. Um, so I'm very excited for that. And then, oh, I just got squirted by a monkey. The monkey just squirted on me. 
Anyway, before I got rudely interrupted by a monkey statue, um, we're gonna go ride Max and Moritz, or as we like to call it, M&M's. Uh, two family coasters that are dueling. Get those credits, they're both outdoors that way. If the storms roll in and things shut down, Vogel Rock is at least indoors, I think. So we should be good there. We're hoping to knock out everything uh, credit-wise before the storms. I've heard there's a really, really cool dark ride. I think it's called Symbolica here, so we're gonna have to do that. Yes. Like that's a requirement. Um, and then we're gonna have to get some food as well um, at some point and try that because I'm sure the food here is gonna be great too. But anyway, let's go to M&M's. Max and Moritz, da da da. Moritz and Max, da da. Max and Moritz, ban and ill. Moritz and Max, Max and Moritz. Moritz Wait, and his little Moritz brother Max. Da, 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 Max and Moritz. Goofy art music. Let's see who comes to the stop first. Yeah, we'd be in about like a millisecond. As we're coming to get food after we rode Max and Moritz, it's the real Max and Moritz. <laughs> Justin recommended these. I haven't tried mine yet, but how is it for you? Uh, first time in two years since I have one of these, they're delicious. I can't wait to try mine. I also had to get the Fanta again. Fanta anytime. This looks amazing. Let's dig in. A good break from riding rides to try it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it's really good. I don't know what sauce is on top of it exactly, but... Curry. Curry. It makes it really, really good. I highly recommend this for sure. Really good park food. It was relative, it was pretty cheap for park food too. All right. Well, we ate. And you can see clouds. It's starting to get a little bit darker outside. The storm is probably on its way in. We're going to go get the last credit we need, which is Vogel Rock. Or if you're a baseball fan like us, you know about Daniel Vogelbach, AKA Dan the Burgers. Wait. Anyway, we're gonna go ride Danny Burgers. Dan Burgers. He's gonna hit a home run for Shake Shack. Dan the Burgers. He's getting swept. All right, we made it over to Vogel Rock. This is the entrance and it's starting to rain. So let's get inside and go ride this so we're out of the rain. Just another aspect of Efteling steaming that makes this park amazing. So let's go ride Danny Burgers. All right, we just rode Vogel Rock and uh, it was a lot of fun. I really liked it. It's dark inside. It's like a more tame family version of like Space Mountain, but with more lights and theming. It was very fun. I enjoyed it. Um, it's raining now pretty heavily. We're gonna go try to ride the dark ride. Uh, that was thunder. 
Do you want to go ride the dark ride? Let's go ride the dark ride, and then I'll let you guys know, because this is coming in fast. Well, Justin and I came prepared. Bennett did not. <laughs> but we just heard the lightning bolt of the day. Holy crap. Which means I'm spared. Ow. You still don't, you're still going to get wet. Even though Bennett wasn't prepared, we braved the rain and came over to Symbolica, which I know nothing about, but I know it's a dark ride and I was told I have to ride it. So we're gonna ride it, because it's indoors, so no rain, and it's gonna stay open. And sounds awesome, yeah. We're gonna need specialty coffees. I'm gonna get the Stroop waffle coffee. I think Bennett is too. I think I might. Here's the Stroop waffle coffee. Um, it's warm, it's a warm drink. Um, unlike America, it's not 500 feet tall. Um, it's actually like a good portion. So I'm not gonna like gorge myself on this. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It's so good. Okay, this is absolutely a must do. It's an observation tower that's built like a carousel. Well, kind of like a carousel. It goes around and you go up in the sky on this huge pole. And you probably get to see the whole park from up there. This is an absolute must do. It's so unique. Very, very cool. Here we go. We're already going above the treetops. We're going up. You can see Symbolica right in front of us. Look at the solar panels on Symbolica. Wow. This is something else. Justin's getting all the money shots. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. I gotta get as many photos as I can now. This is amazing. There's just a legit real peacock chilling on the top of this steam engine. That's really cool and interesting. I didn't expect to see a peacock here. <laughs> All right, everybody, it's been a while, uh, but we rode a lot of dark rides. If there's something that Efteling does great besides theming and having a beautiful, amazing park, it's dark rides. There's um, like, if we rode like four or five of them. One of them we decided was a credit actually, as you saw, um, I think. So see that Vacoma track up there? Um, this dark ride, goes up and down and it's like a powered it's powered but it goes up and down and actually has a section where you speed up due to gravity and it's all Vacoma track is it's it a, a credit? credit I think it might be a credit I, th I think it's a credit I'm serious I'm not it's joking. very similar like it's it feels like a much like older version of something like Arthur but yeah yeah like Arthur's a credit it's 100% I think this is a credit we're gonna count it 100% I fogged it's that part. It's like an Arthur performance. Yeah. Sort of it's like Arthur at Europa. Plus but it's made like by Vacoma. Vacoma has yeah. Vacoma track the whole time. You actually speed up while going down. It really is a credit. But all of the dark rides are amazing. The ride lineup, the coaster lineup is great. And the park atmosphere and experience is literally top tier. And this is one of, if not my favorite park that I've ever been to. Um, one of the top parks for sure. Anyway, we're headed out for the day. It's been a long day. Kind of a perfect day, honestly. Started out a little hot. We had some storms roll through for maybe about 30 minutes. Cleared the crowds out. We rode so many things. But it's an absolutely great park. You guys need to visit. Look at this beauty. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.